All right, guys, welcome. Derek Gardner for the Bay Area Vegan Cyclist channel. I've recently renamed this channel. Today, I am here at the San Luis Miguel Bird Wildlife Refuge, just outside of Livingston, California. And as you see, the grasslands have mostly been cut due to wildfire season. However, today I am out here and I am taking a video for everyone and I'm gonna showcase all of my gear, which I have everything laid out over here on this lovely table and um, floor covering. So I'm going to basically show you guys everything. I am not going to unwrap things and set them up fully, but everything is laid out in such a way as it's very explainable. So without further ado, we're approaching the layout here. These first bags that you see, the yellow one contains canned goods. The other one contains rices and ramens. And now moving along, we've got the emptied early Nomad trailer, which if you guys see inside, I've got a couple of camping tarps in there, along with some green plastic material I found at Lowe's just to shore the floor up a little bit inside of the trailer. Today, I've come out here in my car, so it took me a few moments to set everything up, but I've got everything unloaded from the trailer, and I am very excited about this video. Anyway, I've shown you guys the food, you've seen the trailer, also, I've got a cutting board here in the trailer as well, um, which can be placed on the top here, and you can cook on that rack, which is a lovely, lovely thing. All right, so now here, I've got my mobile internet service, which is a Netgear M100, excuse me, M1100 Nighthawk and I'm running OTR Mobile. Here I've got my laptop, which is a, uh, oh gosh, I forget the brand. Uh, it's a Lenovo, guys. Uh, I've had it a couple years, it's a pretty good laptop. This little speaker my dad gave to me, he's no longer with me. I use it with my iPod. Okay, now we've got a protection knife. Just a little stiff kiss by Cricut. Here we've got a little LED plastic flashlight. Here we have a Bruton made in USA compass. It's always good to have a compass, guys, when you're out uh, in nature. Uh, I've also got a USB charger. I've got my trusty GSR salt and pepper shaker which has literally traveled thousands of miles with me over the years. Okay, I've got for my wife, this lovely spice wheel, multi-spice rack. Um, it's got about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It's got six different spices. Okay, then I've got um, some ketchup and some tapatio. Now I put a crease kind of in this bag so that I can fold it because I placed these items inside of my Snow Peak cooking pans when not in use. Okay, so this is the large Trek 1400 Snow Peak titanium pot. It also has a lid that doubles as a fry pan. Next up, out of the Snow Peak four piece cook set, which they claim is suitable for two people. However, I don't think that's actually making food. I think that's for mountain house um, 
dehydrated meals. Okay, so here is the next size down cook pot that I have. The lid also doubles as a skillet. And then the smallest, um, and also the lid once again doubles as a skillet. Okay, now we've got some basic Coleman water treatment tablets. Um, for camping, what I've done, instead of spending $8 at REI for a sponge, simply cut a traditional sponge in half or less. Here, I've got a very light um, grinder for marijuana. Here, I have a wind screen for cooking time. Okay, here I've got uh, Tokes titanium shot glasses and there's a little bit of cash. I always keep a little bit of cash with me. The cool thing is, I'm just going to demonstrate this for a second, the shot glasses flip over on top of one another and hides your cash when they are stashed. Okay, here I've got a titanium bong. It's made by a company called Quiver, and it's called The Summit, and it's made specifically for bikepacking and secondarily camping. Okay, here I've got some waterproof matches. Here I've got a lighter with a, uh, it's, it's called a toker poker, so it's got a little, um, poker that opens up and it's got a little area that you can bang on your bowl. Here I've got a titanium funnel, just a little itty bitty titanium funnel and a titanium flask filled with Japanese whiskey. Okay, here I've got an alternative fire starter. Um, it's a Coleman magnesium stone. Uh, here I've got a couple of trusty uh, P90 can openers. Um, my little kangaroo, I like to take him with me even though he's getting less and less useful. Um, but I still like to take him along. He's been on several trips. Here I've got a really cool pipe for smoking pot. And this pipe, um, it comes completely apart. It doesn't require a screen, and you can clean it like brand new every time if you like. Okay, here, um, it's a little bit windy out, so I didn't take the two bowls and the two plates and separate them. So here there is two Snow Peak titanium plates and two Snow Peak titanium bowls and two sets of Sea to Summit titanium silverware. Okay, moving along, I've got my Light Max Titanium Snow Peak stove with the small jet boil uh, isobutane fuel. Here I've got a little silicone cover for a coffee when you're not drinking it so bugs can't disturb your coffee. Okay, here I've got a basic um, kitchen utensil set um, for cooking. So there's tongs, there's a skillet, there's a, actually a measuring spoon. Um, it's a kind of a cool little situation. <clears throat> also guys, I'd like to point out the fact I do not throw these caps away for the fuel because you're gonna reuse this every time when you put your stove away, okay? Here, I've got some little, uh, let's see, they're, they're 25 milliliter bottles of extra virgin olive oil, okay? Here, I've got a Snow Peak titanium 450 milliliter cup. That's about 15 ounces, I believe, 14 and a half, 15 ounces. Here, I've got a Snow Peak Titanium French Press and another 450 ml Titanium Cup. I've also got organic Dr. Bronner's Lavender Hand Sanitizer. The reason I 
choose lavender, guys. Uh, not so much in the colder months when there's no mosquitoes around, but during summertime, there are mosquitoes, and mosquitoes don't like lavender. Okay, moving along. I've got Hello Activated Charcoal Toothpaste Tablets. Kind of spacey, like an astronaut would use. Um, it's kind of weird to chew up your toothpaste and then start to brush your teeth, but it does do the trick. Okay, here I've got a little glow light so that when nature calls, I've also got toilet paper. Now, guys, this isn't a whole roll, and I didn't go spend $5 on a camping roll of toilet paper. Um, it all burns and degrades just the same. Um, so you just bring about a third of a roll of fuel. I've got a little plastic trowel, nothing major. Chances are it's gonna break at some point anyway. So $4 versus 20 for an aluminum one, much better option. Got some dude wipes for the wife and I. Um, that also explains why you see two coffee cups, two plates, and two bowls, is because I travel with my wife. Okay, back here, I've got a thermocell um, lantern slash mosquito control unit and a trusty Coleman citronella candle, pine scented, and that covers the table, guys. So, backing up, <clears throat> I've got my trusty MSR dromedary water bladder, which has a slow drain valve as well as a fast fill valve. The little blue stuff sack, I'm not going to unwrap, but that contains things like mittens, gloves, scarves, sun sleeves, legs, etc. for cycling. Also in the old school San Francisco made chrome bag, I've got other personal items such as... Let's just see. Extra batteries, toothbrushes, air pumps, toothbrushes. I think I said that already. <laughs> um, got a little bit of everything in there. Charge wires. Um, now, guys, that's something that you definitely do not want to get caught without these days is charge wires. Okay, next up, I've got my Flexlight Air chairs from REI. Now, a lot of people don't necessarily see the need to take a chair with them, but this chair is one pound packaged up. It fits in backpacks and it fits in the bike trailer just perfectly. Once again, I've got two of them one for myself, one for my wife. Now, these are pricey. They are $100 each at REI. Um, but once again, comfort is going to make it so that you continue this endeavor of bikepacking and or camping slash car camping or hiking or however you get there, guys, okay? Next up... MSR taint, tent stake hammer. And the cool thing is, it also functions as a bottle opener, which makes the kangaroo a little bit less useful. Okay, next up, my pride and joy, Big Agnes. This is the Fly Creek HVUL2, and I also have the Big Creek um, footprint for this said tent as well. It also has the short stick poles, um, which can fit on your bike handlebars. You can fit these any position on your bike frame that you wish. I have the tent body, the fly, and the footprint, the stakes. 
I've also got the um, everything that you need in there, except for the hammer. I didn't want to scratch or rip any of the fabric. Okay, now, this is only a three season tent, guys. So, what happens if you're out on the trail and it becomes a four season kind of night? Well, here, I've got a trusty emergency tent. Now, this is really cool. It's very inexpensive. I recommend buying this at my least favorite store in the world, Walmart. Because, as I recall, it's about $5. Very good thing to have. It'll save you in an emergency. If need be, you simply drape it over your Big Agnes HVUL2 Fly Creek tent. Okay, now for added comfort. I've got climate extra large packable pillows. These are the bee's knees. They've got a little X built into them, so it keeps your head centered at night. Very, very nice product to have. Um, they are pricey. They're, as I recall, $25 each. And I've got one for myself, one for my wife. Now, getting to camping towels, okay? There are so many camping towels on the market, guys, that range in price from mild to wild. And... You just wouldn't believe I had a camera fall here, guys, because of the wind. Anyway, the camping towels range in mild to wild pricings. And, uh, so anyways, I just got cheap ones from Walmart once again. The weight was right, and the price was right also and I've shaved weight in other areas so I figured it's a decent option sorry I had to deal with the wind there for a minute okay now for extra comfort so the wife cannot complain I've got the climate versa blanket which she can sit around in her chair and stay nice and got snaps on all four corners and a foot box and it weighs just one pound um, moving along I've got the climate V sheet double and this goes over the climate insulated double V sleeping pad which is three inches thick it is not self inflating you do have to blow it up However, it's got the included stuff sack, which doubles as an inflator. Simply roll it up and push the air into your sleeping pad. Also, you cannot overfill the sleeping pad, which is a wonderful thing. And then the crown jewel of my collection. I've got the Climate KSB Double Sleeping Bag, which this Climate Double Sleeping Pad slides right into, and the V-Sheet slides, slides right over the sleeping pad and then into the sleeping bag. So, the sleeping bag is rated at 30 degrees. However, with the insulated sleeping pad and the V-sheet, I'm probably rated to about 20 degrees very comfortably. And then if you add this Versa blanket, which is exactly the same size as the top portion of the KSB double sleeping bag. So you've added a lot of um, insulative qualities down to, I would guesstimate, around zero degrees. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It is starting to get windy, so I am going to uh, cut my video a little bit short and um, 
and whatnot for right now. Um, however, the wife and I might come out later this afternoon and do another video. Um, 